What up guys, Sokar here with another video and in this video we will be dealing with wheat farms and farmland. Both uh, I'll give a quick tutorial and I will be talking a little bit about um, the facts surrounding uh, wheat and, far and farmland. Now first we'll have a look at a standard wheat farm which is uh, the ones that I uh, used to make in the old days and a lot of people probably still use. Uh, as for the water currents and stuff like that, that's not really important. Uh, all you need to know is the water flows eight blocks out uh, from the source. But uh, yeah, let's fire it up. Now, there is 90 spots on there which had weed on it. That means that we should be getting 90 weight from all this. However, as you will see if the water would recede, there we go. As you can see, we only have 78. Now the reason for this is, uh, like a lot of people pointed out in my LP episode, that uh, these spots here uh, the water will fall directly on top of that and destroy the wheat instead of uh, uprooting it. And the same here. So that would be 6 plus 6, which is 12. And if you put that on top of uh, the weight we got, which is seven, uh, 78 at the moment, 12 plus 78 is 90. So as you can see, the missing weight is from these spots here. Now, most people would say, well, just add some solid blocks here instead and don't waste time on it. But, as I showed in my LP video, in my latest one, um, you can do something different. And that's what we've done, what I did there. Uh, but, there's a small difference between that and what I have here. And that is that, in my LP, I kind of made a timer so that the water... Would, uh, so that these blocks here would retract, the water would come out. Then as soon as the water had hit this weight right here, uh, those blocks there would retract and the water would continue. And as soon as the water hit here again, they would retract and so on. Um, to prevent any of the weight from getting destroyed. Now, the problem, or not the problem, but I found an easier and more efficient solution than that. And that is, I'll try and show it. Uh, it, as you can see when I flip this, see, the blocks retract instantly. Now what this means is, is uh, when the blocks retract, the, the weed actually gets uprooted. That way you prevent um, that loss of yield, and at the same time you don't have to waste a hell of a lot of repeaters uh, to make a timer for it. Uh, so yeah, basically all you need to do to make this right here is a line of redstone, uh, one repeater to extend the signal, some repeaters at the water barrier, and some pistons. It's really simple, it has a great, it has a big yield, and an added bonus is the water gets uh, removed very quickly. So uh, anyway, let's get into the tutorial part. For the tutorial, I'm thinking uh, I will just build a section of it and then explain what happened in that section. First stage is to make a dirt row, which is 6 by 7 And on the sides here, we have made some pools where we can put in some water. The reason for this is you want to be able to hydrate um, the farmland. Oops. You want to be able to hydrate the farmland, because even though you can, in theory, plant something uh, on non-hydrated uh, farmland, uh, the problem with that is that uh, it will grow very slowly on unhydrated uh, farmland, and also, as soon as you harvest it, uh, the dirt will almost certainly turn back into normal dirt, and you'd have to hoe it again. So anyway, remember that dirt, uh, a dirt layer that's six by seven with water on uh, the shallow side. Next, you put down uh, sticky pistons, 
one block below the dirt uh, in a straight line and then you take some dirt and put up one above the previous dirt layer. After that you extend that new dirt road into another layer of 6x7 dirt and you add more water channels on both sides. You can extend this uh, as many layers as you want uh, to all the way to the sky limit should you wish it, although that would be exaggeration, but you can. Anyway, let's move on to what you need to do with the final layer, because that's a di bit different, you know, when you want to wrap it all up and add the, the water uh, flow that's going to harvest everything. Don't forget to again put in a layer of pistons uh, just below the dirt line when you start the next or the final uh, layer. The final layer is a bit different uh, because this dirt layer only needs to be 6x6 six six because you need to have space for one stone uh, row here which is the one that's going to be retracted. So what you want to do to be able to do that is again you put a layer of pistons down like this, uh, one block below the dirt, and then you put uh, the stone, a, st a row of stone, all the way across the top. Then you extend that out into a little pool here, so you can have another channel where you put the water in that will flow down and do the harvesting. And once you've done that, you're basically uh, ready to wire it all up. The redstone part is really simple. All you need to do is make uh, put a lever somewhere, add some redstone to it, uh, like this. It can go below or on the side, any way you want. Then you extend that. Remember to count uh, because redstone only goes 15 blocks. So 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11. Now, in this case here, um, we will need to dig down like this 12 and then add a block there no add a block there remove one more block there put a torch on that put blocks all the way along here and put redstone the whole way there we go those pistons are now ready after that we got to 11 12 13 14 and let's just put one here for good measure one, one, two, three, and for this line again, we just make a line of stone, put some redstone on top of it, put a block with a torch with a torch on it, make the redstone go directly into it. Remember, you can't do that, for example. Then it's not going to work anymore. You have to have the redstone go directly into the block. Uh, and that's that. Now we get to the last part, which is a little bit more tricky, because here there isn't anywhere, uh, anywhere we can just run a line of blocks that's adjacent to the pistons. So what we need to do instead is move that um, that run of blocks one down, uh, put repeaters all the way along that goes directly into the pistons, make another line of stone or whatever blocks you would choose, put redstone along that, and now it's basically back to what we did before. Put a block down, put a torch on it. And that's uh, more or less it. Now the last thing you need to do before you activate it is run some blocks along uh, the water tunnel channels like this. Oh, we need to remove that. There we go so that the water doesn't spill out everywhere and then you're basically ready to put your wheat farm into action. Now for good measure let's just have a look at the finished product see if it works and it does. All the blocks retract and it's ready to go. Now the way you've built this remember that you might have to actually activate it and deactivate it one time so that the sticky pistons go up and grabs the dirt the first time but beyond that you should be good. Now I will leave a a world download in the description 
so you guys can go grab this and uh, have a look at it for yourself um, and also I will leave you guys uh, a link to a tutorial on a very very sweet f uh, automatic uh, wheat farm which was designed by generic B and uh, pear squirrel I'll leave links to them as well but the tutorial itself is done by Sumavoid. It's a very, very nice uh, tutorial. It's fast. It's the, it's to the point, and it's you know you should really check it out if you want something that can produce as much wheat as you want with a very uh, small space. Uh, of course, the the advantage of having something like this is you can get a lot of wheat very fast. Uh, the advantage of doing the automatic one is you never have to really grab your hoe again which you, I guess you wouldn't have to do with this either but you'd never have to you know go and replant it all after you've gotten it because you plant it and then you get it basically that's how it works but anyway check that out and uh, yeah thank you guys very much for watching and I hope you liked the, this uh, short video and uh, I will see you guys in the next episode take care everybody